One of our favorite stories to bring you, welcoming home soldiers at Fort Carson. But after the pageantry and emotion of the homecomings, many soldiers face tough transitions into civilian life. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman is live in the Newsplex to explain. Bonnie? Well, Bart, in the last 24 hours, nearly 500 soldiers have returned home to the Mountain Post. Now, while these homecoming ceremonies are amazing to see, there is something our cameras cannot capture, and that's the daunting challenge of finding a new purpose and career here at home. Just so excited to see him and hug him, get him back, you know. Fathers reunited with daughters, husbands and wives together again. Family pictures finally complete. And we're just glad everybody's home, safe and sound, and that we can share this moment with everybody. But after these moments, when the signs come down and the cheering subsides, soldiers face an intimidating challenge that doesn't reach the spotlight. They don't understand what they're getting into the workforce. I mean, a lot of them have never even done a job interview. Leaving the military behind and adjusting back into civilian life, it's something former Marine Dakota Meyer knows about all too well. And, and yeah, it's hard. I mean, you get out. I was a sniper. How many jobs do you think they have for snipers out there? Meyer struggled with the transition, even though he received the military's highest honor. He's the second youngest living Medal of Honor recipient. There's a lot of mixed emotions with it. You know, I mean, I lost my whole team that day on September 8, 2009. The former Marine has since dedicated his life to helping veterans adjust to life back at home. It's a simple fix. It's a communication problem. Corporations don't understand what they're getting in veterans, and veterans don't understand how to talk to corporations and tell them what they can bring to the table. Dean Miller with the Pikes Peak Workforce Center agrees it is vital that veterans have useful communication skills. The challenge we found is having those service members present those to an employer uh, effectively in an interview, in a LinkedIn profile, in a resume. This is exactly why a job summit is being held on the Mountain Post at Fort Carson. Even a former president of the United States, George W. Bush, is flying in to speak with troops. The military's already gone in and picked out the best of the nation. Service members trying to become just as critical to their communities at home. Now, the transition summit at Fort Carson continues tomorrow. It features workshops for troops seeking jobs in the civilian job market, and representatives of more than 100 companies offering jobs will be there. So, starting in about 20 minutes at 5:30 this evening, there will be a networking event with employers at the Elkhorn Conference Center tomorrow. As we mentioned, former President George W. Bush will speak with the troops. For now, reporting live in the Newsplex, Bonnie Sulkman, KRDO News Channel 13. Bonnie, thanks so much. A set of bike lanes in.